Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Hanging Out with Me in the Kitchen Space. So in today's episode, let's start by reviewing this. And this is an egg cooker. Before we can eat some egg curry in my next episode. With me, I have an egg cooker that has been sitting in my mother's kitchen for six or seven years there about. That's why you need to do So I'm here to test it and I'll give you a review of if it is worth it or but now I'll understand as to why it has never been used. This is how it comes packaged. So do not mind about this dust in which I've been very good for it over the years. Yeah, when you open the box, um there's a manual right here. And this is an intelligent luxury egg steamer, an instruction manual. So this is the manual. So I'll just read it, then we'll continue with the review. The only thing that I've noticed in this thing is that it's a decap for how long it's supposed to be steam your head. But not to worry about because the head has like you are going to give this one cup and your eggs are going to work good. So inside the box there is nothing else. There is only this. I think this is the whole thing. You are supposed to put your eggs into this tray and then make a one cup of this water here. Then you are care to go. Then you spill the eggs. Once this goes off, uh, your egg is going to be ready. Uh, I do not know how much time that will take, but we'll find out and I'll tell you. I'm also going to rinse this, then I'll be back in a few minutes. So let's continue and as you can see, this is the steamer for the cooker and it's such a simple thing. It says here it can cook 1 to 14 eggs, but this has about 7 holes. So, as it is on the in a perfect copy, I'm not quite sure if you can start them apart, but we can also find out. Instead of actually connecting it, you first start by connecting it to the power socket. So, this is what you're supposed to connect to your power outlet. Then, you place it here, then you place your eggs right here. Una a hick of the module and apple. Then, you put it here, and then you put it on. When you put it on, uh, this will go on, and when the eggs are ready, it will go off. So let's start. This is a cup, and it's not the standard measuring cup. It measures about 70 ml. I've added about 10 more ml, so that's about 80 ml of water, because I also do not trust this process. Then I try a hero, then I'm going to arrange my egg. Wow, and they fit perfectly. Yeah, so I only needed about seven eggs, and that's the perfect number. Because in my next recipe, I'm planning to use six eggs, but I'm going to test one right here. Then, like that. Then, uh, I'm not sure if it's on or off. It's on, and that's off. Started my watch, and once it goes off, I'll be back to do the test test and I'll inform you for how long this has been going on. As you can see, it's already starting to spin right here. And if you can listen to it carefully, it's hissing uh, to mean that it's standing like water for him. Exactly 12 minutes, and so with me, I have some cold water, and I'm going to check on it right now. Right now, because you will come and deliver to the dish for water. And wow, well, I think you can also use this as a humidifier, it will work so well. So, I'm just going to dip it in my cold water. And I'm going to shell it. Almost, almost done. 
can. Uh, you can see that it's almost done, but gonna risk uh, one millimeter of rudeness. Yeah, it on the deliver. And on this other side, um, yeah, it's only this part in the deliver. So this is pretty much like I'm just going to add some little bit of water and then give it a few more minutes, like two or three minutes, because they let my eggs well done. Uh, we do not take some raw eggs here. So, uh, but for this particular product, you may have to manufacture to that uh, centimeter. So, would I really recommend this particular thing? Uh, yes, because it doesn't have steam and it doesn't have gas. So, you'll end up saving all your gas stove and using more of electricity. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. 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 Second thing is that um hey at a so you can just show your child how to do it. It's just a matter of putting the egg in the water and once the egg is done, uh it has seen a hapa, probably in about 90 milliliters of water. So you need to fill it up to here and add another about 10 ml or just fill it up to the 70 mark and add another 20 ml before your egg do the water is all comes up. But if I told you it's some uh, runny eggs, uh, you just need to put it to about 60 then about to do the job. Mm. This egg just so good. Another reason as to why you should also purchase this is that it's a low budget humidifier, as you can see. Upper corner steam in Tokyo, in these two holes right here, and it can do the humidifying job. If at all you need a humidifier and you do not have, you only have an egg cooker or an egg steamer, you can do it. And I'm actually going to test it very soon because I have the essential oils and I have some water. What's stopping me from testing this? My final thoughts on this, I think I'm going to be using it regularly. That's pretty much it about this. This is just the company name. So you can check it out. I'm pretty sure this is not an expensive gadget. You can just get it. I do not know where you can buy it, but you can just check on it online, Amazon, anywhere else. So that's it for today's video. I hope to see you in tomorrow's episode where we'll be making some big guy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and comment. Bye.